In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model this toy block. It has a few different pieces, including those ridges on the interior sides where the letters are. I'll show you how to model this using user parameters and a formula to calculate the spacing between the ridges. The first thing we want to do is save our project. I will label this toy block. Next, we want to create a component and then label this block. Now we're going to make some user parameters. I'm gonna click Modify, Change Parameters, and click this plus button. The first parameter I will choose is Cube. And for this size, I'll type 30 millimeters. Next, I'll click the plus button, and I'll type Inner Square. And this will be 22 millimeters. Next, I'm going to type Ridge. This will be one millimeter. Next, I will type num rows and instead of a unit i'm going to click no units and the value will be 16. next i'm going to type row gap and this will be the calculation so i'll use parentheses and we'll type inner square minus parentheses num rows times ridge two close parentheses, and then we will put a slash for division, then parentheses, and we'll do num rows plus one, because we want a row to be on either side of the ridges, and then close parentheses, we can press OK. Now we have all the user parameters we need to make our toy block. Next, I'll create a sketch. I'll create a sketch on the ground plane, and I'm going to create a center rectangle. I'll click on the origin, drag out, and I'll type cube, tab, cube. And this uses our user parameter of 30 millimeters. Then I can press E to extrude. I'll also type in cube. This way our cube will update automatically if we change that user parameter. Next, I'm going to create the indentation on the top of the cube. So I'll create a sketch. I'll click the top face. Once again, I'll use a center rectangle. I'll click on the origin, and this time I'll type inner square, tab, inner square, enter. I'll finish my sketch. Now I'll press E, click this sketch plane, and type negative two. I want to twirl out the component, and then click the eyeball on sketch two. We're gonna make another extrusion, so press E for extrusion. And this time, for start, instead of profile plane, we'll choose object, and the object we'll choose is the bottom. Then we'll select the profile, this profile, and then we will type two for the distance. It will cut in on the bottom. We'll press okay. Now we can hide this sketch. Now we'll round out the corners of the block. So I'll hold shift and then click on each of these edges of the block. I'll click on the fillet command and I'll type two. Now the block has rounded edges. Next, we need to add the letters to the block. To do this, I'll click the top level component to activate it, and then I'll create a new component, and I'll call this letter one. Now I'll create a sketch, and the sketch will be right on top of this component. I want to create a center rectangle. I'll click on the origin, and for the height, I'll type inner square minus three, and for the width, I'll use the dimension tool and type four. I'll finish my sketch, I'll orbit, press E to extrude, click this, and then type negative two. I wanna round off the edges a bit, so I'll click the top face, then hold shift to click each of these edges. Hold shift, click the edge, you can orbit around. Once you have all those edges, click the fillet and type 0.1. Now that is finished. So I'll go ahead and activate the top level, and then I'll create a new component, and I'll call this letter two, and click OK. I'll orbit around to the bottom of the block, and then I'll create a sketch on the bottom. Once again, I'll create a center rectangle. Click on the origin, we can drag up, and this time we'll type inner square minus three, tab four, and we need to make one more center rectangle. 
Click on the origin, drag over, and this time it'll be inner square, minus three, tab four. Then we can finish the sketch, press E to extrude, select all five of these shapes, type negative two, okay. Once again, we're gonna round out the edges, so click the top face, then hold shift and click all of these vertical edges, orbit around, hold shift, click on the edges, hold shift, click on the edges, perfect. Then we'll click on fillet and type 0.1. And now all we need to do is add the ridges from cutting out these shapes on the machine. So to do that, we'll create a new component and we'll call it ridges. And we'll say, okay, we'll create a sketch and I'll click on the inside face. And I want to draw the ridges right here. So I'll draw a rectangle and I can click on this line, drag up, and I can type ridge, tab, ridge. Next, we'll click the far corner plus the edge of the ridge, click up, and we'll type row gap. Then we can finish our sketch. Next, we'll press E to extrude this all the way over. Instead of typing a distance for the extent type, we'll type to object. Orbit around, then click the opposite face, and it'll go straight to that object. Press OK. Then click the two top edges, and we'll add a fillet of 0.1. Now we could continue to make these objects, but a better way would be to make a pattern. But before we make a pattern, we want to mirror it so it makes the pattern on the top and bottom. To mirror it, we need to make a construction plane. So we'll go construct mid plane. To create a mid plane, you click two planes. I'll click the top plane and the bottom plane. And now we have a mid plane going right through the cube. Press OK. Next, I'll create a mirror. What do I want to mirror? Bodies. I'll click this body. What is my mirror plane? I'll click this mirror and I'll say, okay. So now I have a ridge on the top and the bottom. I can go ahead and twirl this out and hide the construction plane. Next, we're going to create a rectangular pattern. Once again, we're going to pattern bodies. This time I'll select both bodies by holding shift. Then I need to pick a direction. I can click on this line for my direction. The quantity will be num rows. Then instead of extent, we want to click spacing and the distance will be ridge plus row gap. And now they are all equally spaced out. We can press okay. Notice they are on the bottom too. Activate the block component. We want to add in just a nice little fillet on the two top edges. So click the two faces, hold shift. Click the fillet command, type 0.1. Then activate the top level component. Press A on your keyboard for appearances. And what we want to do is scroll down to solid wood. Right here with solid. If you see a down arrow here, you need to download it. But I'm going to drag this onto the block. And then I'm also going to drag it onto each of the letters. By default, appearances go to bodies and components. So I'm going to continue to use that, but I'm going to go up to paint and I'm going to go to powder coat rough and powder coat rough white. Watch, if I drag this over onto one of these bodies, it just paints one. So what I want to do is drag this powder coat onto the actual component and then it paints all of them at one time. Next, I'll click faces. So now I'm only painting faces and I can hide the ridges right now. I want to paint the inside of this. So now that's painted. Then I can go down to the bottom and I can paint the inside of that. Lastly, I wanna add color. So I wanna add yellow to this top face, yellow to here, then I'll orbit around. And on the top, it's blue. Save my design. And now I'm ready to render. Make sure I show the ridges and then click the render workspace. When we're in our render workspace, we can also change the environment by clicking setup and either picking solid color or environment, then going to the environment library and picking what we want. If you see a download error, you need to download it. Then just double click on the environment and you'll see what it looks like in a snowy field. Then we can click the teapot to render and then we can pick our render settings. 
When you do a first test render, make it low res so it renders quickly. Then go ahead and make a large render for print once you have the angle that you want. Hopefully you can make a toy block just like this or of your own custom design.